action. Hello, I'm Nina. Um, I'm an artist and I'm also a carer. Um, I'm going to be running eight uh, workshops, which are gold leaf um, workshops. And we're going to be starting off with cards. We're going to have hands on straight away. We're going to be moving into a container, which is um, a container that maybe you can find in your house, like an old um, camembert box that you've used a camembert course, or um, an old jewellery box that you have, or um, this is a, an earbud box, but you can use any box. Um, we are going to be making a paperweight with a stone that you can find. We are going to move on to a chosen object and finish off with um, little jars that we're gonna decorate for night lights. I'm going to demonstrate um, the first session, which is card making, gold leaf card making. So we've got our little cards. I've made my cards with some scrap paper that I had. And um, so this is a little demonstration how gold leafing is done. So we have a glue, which is called size. And I am making a little sun. As a greeting card. Everybody will have an arts pack and in the arts pack there will be a set of little cards ready to go. So basically I'm just painting a little sun with glue. There we go. So that's um, the first stage and we uh, will leave this to rest for 10 minutes and um, I have made a card that has already rested for 10 minutes so I'll move on to that. I'll put this over here. So this is my card that I did 10 minutes ago and I'm now going to get my gold leaf. This is um, something that you have to be quite careful with because it's very thin and it flies around a bit, but it's quite magical. And it has a lot of versatility, what's it called? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I just lost my language. You can do a lot. You can do a lot of different things with this that are quite magical and quite exciting. So I'm tapping this with my brush, which is the dry brush. You have a wet brush and a dry brush. And you're just making contact with the glue. So it's only, it's, it's quite quick. It's quite fun. And um, then you leave this to rest for 10 minutes on a when it's a paper base, a bit longer when it's an object. So I have prepared um, this stage as well 10 minutes ago. So that is here. And we're now ready to brush off. So I'm putting my gold away because it gets a little bit messy and you want to keep the gold safe. I am making sure my glue is well away from this. And this is the fun part, to see what we've actually got. So this is a brushing off. And you're just using tapping motions. I'm going to sort of rotate a bit to get the gold up. Now I can see that it's worked. And here we have a little sun. I 
think most people would have seen these in the rather posh and wonderful card stores. Um, this is how it's most likely done if it's not painted on. And that's it. It's our little card. And I don't know if you can sort of see the shine of it. So I think the things that works the best are simple things, beautiful things like hearts and suns and things like that. Um, we're saving all our gold because I've got an old box here. Um, because it's very, very good for tapping into awkward little corners and little creases later on. So all the big pieces go in there. And the best way of um, tidying this gold up now because it really is thin and it really flies around and it can get stuck is a hoover. <laughs> couple of little things that I have gold leafed that I have had in the house. Um, this is a mannequin's hand that um, has also been aged. It's very good for putting a bath soap in. Um, this is a little porcelain bird and it's actually made with um, leftovers. And uh, this is a pretty little thing. It works well actually sat on this old jewellery box um could be glued on there it's quite it's quite sweet um i've also just started just to show you this is this is an old vase i just use it as a stand but i have an old bird here and just to show you that this is when we move on to the objects and the objects are going to be very interesting because it's objects that you have in your house um and uh, there's quite there's quite a lot of different things you can choose, which we'll talk about. But this is an old bird that was broken. Um, I, I, I think it's a porcelain bird. I'm not sure, but um, I didn't like it, and uh, it was also broken. So I put it back together, and this is where I've used all my offcuts here. And we do this in stages because you can't do the whole bird in one go. So we'll be doing it in stages, and this is ready to be brushed off in the first stage so when you do the first stage you'll find things that need to be done again almost like patching up which is why we've got plenty of time to be doing that and i'm really excited because you can really, really transform things. So there we go, that's a little bit of, just to sort of show you the transformation of it. Of um, course, this is imitation gold leaf. Um, if you were working with real gold, we wouldn't be doing this like this whatsoever. But it still gives you a wonderful, glowing, warm feeling of the sun shining. And so you can sort of see this was my blackbird on one side, what it was like before. And this will have to have another little go of um, of gold where all the cracks are and we'll be using all the offcuts and uh, I'm so looking forward to it.
some hope to see you soon. <laughs>